How do you pack a wet painting when you need to travel? I'm in that situation right now. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Coates. I'm just finishing my season at French Art School and I've actually got a triptych I'm working on. So I've already packed two, <clears throat> two pieces. They're one meter square. Haven't quite finished working on them in France, so I'm taking them home to my studio in Capando in the Barossa Valley, South Australia. And I'm gonna work on them there when I've got more time because <clears throat> my time's a bit limited when I'm in France and I've got plenty of time back home. So um, these two were okay, but this one actually, come on, come on over here. I've actually got all my beautiful oils out and unfortunately I have to say goodbye to these oils and go back to my studio in Australia and work on this one. So <clears throat> I started reworking in this area and um, only yesterday and then we got a bit caught up and we've been having a great time. I've done some other things and I've also been relaxing. So I thought that's okay. I'm gonna take the paintings home and carry them. So um, how do I stop this part being messed up? Well, what I'm doing is I'm putting some sponges on the corner to, to create about almost an inch of, or about an inch of extra height. <clears throat> I'm putting that on the sides as well. It's much easier to fix them on the corners. They like it a lot better because you can wrap right around. And, but there's enough, enough to keep them in place for the sides. Then I'm going to place these, um, let's pop this down. Then I'm going to pop this face down on um, my, uh, my other canvas. Ooh. So before I do that, because I've put these two face to face, I wouldn't mind having something that's um, you know, supportive there. So hold on a tick and I'll just get a piece of cardboard. It will increase the weight just a tiny bit. But look, I got these from my art store. They're always getting things in and they always need to um, get rid of their materials because they're unpacking things and selling them. Okay, so now I'm going to put it face down to rest on top of the other ones. Hmm. top of that rather than having it in the middle and um, then I'm simply going to trim this and as you can see if you come down here you can see and I'll, and I'll get this to sit I'll, I'll actually cut score this and get it to go right down but as you can see there's a good um, half to one inch space in between so nothing's going to be rubbing against the painting it's going to be um, safe in transit then we're going to bubble wrap it up I'm going to add shoulder straps to this. I've got some fantastic shoulder straps that look like this. <clears throat> and they've got ratchets. So I put two and then I tie them at the top and I'm simply carrying over my shoulder. I'll be towing one case and I'll have my paintings over my shoulder. And there I'll go. International traveling artist, you can do it too if you need to. So just make sure you put a space between your paintings when you, when you need to travel with them. As you can see, it's like, um, uh, an extra layer that allows for air in between. So it's as simple as that. I hope you found this useful. Um, it'll take us too long and you'll be bored watching us actual, actually doing this packing, but you get the concept, create air between the paintings, um, trim everything, tie it all down with tape, triple bubble wrap it so you can almost bounce the thing and um, ready to go and put your address on it and your phone number and your country, who you're flying with, on what day, from where to where. So that way it's easy to track. And if you can find your flight numbers, even better. Hope you find that useful.